Howdy. So, uh, as is by the title, this is fixing some issues with Starfield that people have been having. Uh, obviously, with the recent launch, uh, a decent amount of people have been having issues. Others haven't. Uh, I was one of the people having these issues of uh, kind of this audio-visual lag, typically when loading instances or dialogue. Uh, and I'm going to show you the two things that I did that um, helped rectify that situation. Now, I'm going to say it's not foolproof it's not guaranteed 100 percent i still have some of these little hiccups uh, but it did get rid of more than half of them for me and i'm also using a much uh, older setup uh, i have a very old motherboard i'm using uh, a 1080 for a graphics card so i'm not running a top of the line rig here and this helps solve a lot of my issues now uh, starting with is your uh, power so it's simple, easy, go into your settings, go into system, uh, go into your power and sleep, additional power settings, and just set it to high performance. You might have to go into the uh, additional power settings, it might be hidden underneath of that, but high performance, you'll use a bit more power, but it will, uh, your heart will, will run, you know, as well as it can. So that was step one in fixing my issues. Uh, step two in fixing my issues uh, regards the device that I am using to store it. So this is my disk, disk three. It's a uh, two terabyte uh, solid state drive. The issue that I was seeing with it is when it was loading those instances, it would hit 100%. It would go all the way up and it would max out its read speed. So it was trying to pull more information from the drive than it could you know handle at that time so the way that I kind of uh, rectified that and improved the situation a little bit is again go into your device manager uh, go into your disk drives find the disk drive that you have it installed on go into the properties and then go into policies and by default it will be on this quick removal which slows down or well not always but can slow down for me it did slow down uh, the rate of transfer between the drive and uh, the rest of my computer. So you can switch that to better performance. Uh, however, when you do this, you must safely remove the hardware. You have to eject the drive when you want to disconnect it. Otherwise, you risk corrupting the drive. Uh, so that's simply down here, this little thing right here. You can safely eject, click it, it'll tell you, hey, you can eject it now and you can remove it and it'll be perfectly fine. Quick removal just allows you to unplug it without having to do that whole process. Going to better performance, you have to go through that to safely unplug it. But once you take care of that, um, once you hit OK, it will ask you to restart your computer to kind of apply that little update there. So, but those are the two things that I did. And again, it's not 100%, but it did help very much. It cut down more than half of the stuttering and the audio visual lag that I was getting. So the game is much more playable now and this worked for a very old setup that's you know over a decade old it's a pretty old setup that i have so it it worked pretty well so again i don't know if this will help you but uh it, it helped me and hopefully it helps some of you out there just to share you know what i was able to figure out but uh have a nice day good luck to you and uh and enjoy playing starfield